Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Infinite Fusion. Just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that wished me happy birthday in the first two parts. Uh, very kind of you, thank you so much. I had a really great birthday, um, even though to be stuck inside because of uh, quarantine, but I had a really good time, which was great. So we're back in Viridian City before we go take on Brock, because you guys told me in the comments, if we go back down to Route 1, there is a, uh, a secret passageway here. And I look everywhere and I finally found it, so it's right here? No, here. Or here. Down a bit more. It's, it's in this little bit here. There you go. So, secret garden. And we can get a bunch of... Oh, wow. Five max potions. Someone said, like, revives, four restores. Three max revives. Sweet. And an Eevee as well, which is really great. I'm guessing the Eevee's going to be a wild Eevee. I was assuming it was going to be uh, like a little static encounter. But, um... I guess it's just in the wild here. But I'm not sure if it's going to still be a Eevee because of the randomizer. <laughs> so we have a Flappy instead. Which, I mean... Still pretty cool. To be fair, I'm gonna try and just uh, try my luck to throw a Pokeball. It's level two. I wanna take it out. Come on, come on. Oh, dude. Alright, Thunder Wave. That's fine. I actually really want this. I'm thinking maybe Charmander and Flappy fuse them together. That could be kind of cool. Because someone told me as well that like, we could always unfuse Pokemon later on. Because it seems like a few people wanted to see like uh, Charizard and Dragonite together, which to me sounds. Pretty good. Oh, come on, Flaffy. Flaffy, be a bro. Please get caught. Uh, I'm gonna... I feel like I'm gonna take it out. Yep, okay, it's fine. We'll probably find more in here. But I do want to get a Flaffy bad. Come on, Flaffy, where you at? That's a little free. Maybe we can live two attacks, get to red HP, and then throw a Pokeball. Be a lot easier to catch. Let's see, let's see. Ow, critical hit. Great. Okay, one more gust. Maybe two more gusts, actually. Turns out we can live. <laughs> no, no, I'll definitely take it out on the, uh, the third gust. So let's try some puck balls now. If not, let's go buy some more balls. It's not an issue if we don't get it right away. Already paralyzed, my dude. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, dude, come on, man. Why are you being such a pain in the butt, the captain? I was thinking like a, I don't know, fire electric. If it is, becomes fire electric, that'd be kind of a cool type. If you really want like a Charizard Amphros, I think that'd be so cool. Oh, okay, poison. That's kind of fun though, I have a little bit. Uh, let's go Charmander. Also, I saw one fusion that looked so cool and I really want. I'm not sure if like, it was someone's custom design they made or if it was actually in the game. But I saw a um, Lapras and a Typhlosion. Hey, there we go. And I thought that looked so cool. I was like, I think we have to try and get that on the uh, on the team. Alright, so this is all Flappies here. Uh, let's have one more encounter just in case it's something cool to grab. But <gasps> Oh, a Seedra! Okay. I'm also down for this. I thought I might take it out in one hit. Nope, we're good, we're good. Oh, Siege was actually really good. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, dude, this is going to be a pain in the butt. Yeah, a lot of people said, like, to put the randomizer on. And I think that'd be more fun, just because... We, you, can, you can get the... Because this game is fuse anything, there'll be more a better chance to actually find some cool stuff with the randomizer on, so we can just find, you know, any... Any Pokemon, we can fuse some really cool stuff. And I hope I can get the Seedra. There we go. Oh, wow. All right, not bad at all. Okay, maybe I should fuse uh, Seedra and Flaffy. Maybe, oh, I don't know. Charmander and Seedra? I don't know what I want to fuse now. This is... Oh, what do I go for? I'm, I'm so conflicted between Charmander and Flaffy and Charmander and Seedra. Uh, do I have DNA splices? I must do. I have... One. Maybe I can fuse Caterpie with something as well. I don't know. Like I said, so conflicted right now. Right, I'm going to quickly cut back the Pewter Sea though, so I have to run all the way back. And then uh, maybe I can have a little think on the way. So I'll see you guys at Pewter City. Okay, so I thought about it, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go Charmander and... 
wait, Charmander, oh, Charmander and Flaffy. Yeah, let's go with this. Oh, please be good, please be good. <laughs> oh god, his face! No! Oh, that looks so wrong! Oh man, the, Char the, the tail with Charmander, okay. That's cool, but the face. So you got uh, Flamanders. Electric fire, okay. Oh, dude, it's it's just yeah. We want Thunder Wave. Uh, let's get rid of Growl. Thunder Shock. Okay, we'll get rid of Smoke Screen. Uh, let's get Static as the ability. Oh, dude. Okay, and next one I want to do Seedra, and I'm gonna do Caterpie. I think. Oh God, that looks like it's gonna be horrendous. I think like a Kingdra Butterfree could be so cool. All right, here we go. Oh, please be good. <laughs> it looks so... Oh, it just looks so wrong. Bug water, okay. It's just... It's just so wrong. Uh, string shot, nope. Uh, poison point or shield. I don't know what shield dust does. Uh, I'm gonna quickly Google Shield Dust because I have honestly I don't think I've ever heard of that ability before. Uh, so the Pokemon's Dust blocks the additional effects of attacks taken. The Pokemon's Dust blocks the oh yeah. Uh, so. Hmm. So we wouldn't get affected by like poison touch and we wouldn't get um, flinched by fake out or anything. So I think shield dust is probably probably the one to go for here. Okay. So our Charmander lost a lot of levels but our, our team is looking um... Oh god that looks so wrong. Maybe, maybe Charizard and Amphros will look so much better, but... Oh, it's so bad right now. Okay, so let's go and take on Brock. And we can get the, uh, the first gym badge. <laughs> oh, yo, what up? Ha! Do you think you'd be able to sneak past me? A little, yeah. <laughs> right, Georan. Oh, okay, that's kind of cute. I kind of like that. We can go for double kick. Okay, didn't do too much. I'll keep spelling that double kick and hopefully we'll uh, be able to take it out. I'm guessing that's probably going to be rock poison or maybe ground poison. Either way, double kick doesn't do too much to me and I can do a lot more to it. And beat this, we should get level 11. Hey, there we go. Cool. So if I remember correctly, this kid usually has a sand shrew, so I'm assuming sand shrew fused with something. And we'll try and get Igneal. Actually, Katara as well to level 10. Stop! You are light years away from Brock. Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, what you got? A sand dude. Oh my god! Oh, look at it! Oh, wow. I'm not gonna lie, the, the fusions with Geodude, I kinda, kinda dig them. <laughs> the eyes are really like making me think of um, Lamillion <laughs> from my hero. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, a Geo Shrew. Oh, wow. I kinda like that. Being completely honest, I kinda like that. And level six, sweet. Okay. Maybe our uh, Cedric Canopy can actually do this. I'm Brock, I'm Pewter's gym leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. In gym battles, you are only allowed to use as many Pokemon as the gym leader. Since this is your first gym battle, I'll be using two Pokemon for this battle. 
Oh, okay, so we'll definitely bring in Kadadra. And then definitely Pidran. Sorry, Igneal. But I, I like that. Like, you can't um, use more than the Gym Leader's Pokemon. Makes it a bit more challenging. Also, I should say as well... Oh, wow. I can't, I know that my sprite's a bit glitchy there. I'm, I'm, I honestly do not know. I think I know how to fix it, but I don't want to try because I feel like I've messed it up more. But it's, not, it's not like hurting anyone. It's not breaking the game. You know, it, it's fine. Oh, snap. I kind of like a Pidgey Judah. That looks really cool. The problem is... We are going to die now. Okay. Off to a rough start. Off to a really rough start. Uh, let's go double kick. That's not bad. I think Pidran's got this. I wonder if it would be like a Geodude Fusil and Onyx. Oh, snap. Okay. This is going to be quite difficult. I need to do some grinding, otherwise we're going to get absolutely wrecked. Alright, we're back to a little bit of grinding. Our um, Caterpie and Seedra is now a Metapod and Seedra. And I think that's enough. Like, one more level, they should go to Butterfree. And, dude, this GOG is just giving us so much trouble right now. And, okay... I thought we might do a little bit more damage than that. But we'll see. Uh, dude, this the bug typing is making it hard with the water gun. Nice. Okay, critical hit. I think even without a crit, we might take that out, to be fair. And Manix. Oh! A Mankey and an Onix. Okay. It looks kind of kind of cool, to be fair. Fine. Okay, that's fine. Right, we can win this. We can win this. As long as you don't go for a rock type move. There you go. <laughs> That's what I was kind of scared of. But what we can do is we'll just go for a revive. We're kind of cheap doing it, but hey. We have. Ah, oh, you potioned up. You suck. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to go for a. Do we have like a normal potion? We do. Then I'm going to revive Metadra again. Not before I go for a double kick first. I think we can live like one attack from this bad boy. Yeah, one attack at least and we go for a double kick. Just do a little bit of damage. Not bad, it's not bad. Right, okay, so we go for our... Uh, I'm going to have to go for a max revive. Don't want to do it like this early on, but to win, we're going to have to. Did you... Did you seriously karate chop me and not? Okay. Just wish their max revive. Did not have to do that now. <laughs> well then. I could probably just like live if I go for a potion. Keep going for karate chop, my dude. Don't know why you didn't go for rock tomb. I ain't gonna complain. I ain't gonna complain at all. This is this is good. There's the rock tomb. And you missed! Oh my god! <laughs> Get destroyed, son! Oh, this is actually so good. Oh, critical hit. Wow, okay. If I lost to a critical hit, I would have cried. <laughs> After all this, and then lose to a crit, but water gun. Gonna get a bind, that's fine. Water gun finishes you off. We get level 10, and we should evolve into a Butterfree Seedra. Which I'm hoping will look pretty cool. I took you for granted. Eh, not really allowed to use some potions. I feel cheap about it, but... Hey, our timers weren't the best. Oh, come on, look good, look good, look good. That's not bad. I, I kind of like that. For some reason, the head really reminds me of like a Venonat and Sableye. But. <laughs> uh, confusion, let's get rid of Le. Cool. And we're looking pretty good. As proof of your victory, here's the Boulder Badge. I also want to give you this. And we've got Rock Tomb, sweet. The move that was just destroying us. <laughs> Go to the gym in Cerulean and test your abilities. I will. Oh. Wow, even hotter than Brock. I thought it was amazing. Oh, wow. Cool. So, there's two things I want to do. So, first is talk to you, because I think you wanted us to get the first gym badge, right? Hmm, a Pokemon trainer. Bought back this special flute from my travels. Show me the city's badge, and it is yours. That's it. That's the city's badge. Here you go, as promised. Got the black flute. Nice. And next, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but I wanted to try it just in case. 
there was a side quest we haven't done. Because it's just showing a fully evolved bug type Pokemon. And I'm hoping this works. I doubt it, but um, if it does work, then great. Oh, no, it doesn't work. Okay. That's disappointing. I might have to just, like, if I spend some money, I can potentially just unfuse them, then fuse them again. Might lose a few levels, but we get the side quest done at least. Uh, so let's get... Oh. So you need to buy a reverser. Okay. And then get one more DNA splice to fuse them back. So if I fuse, like, instead of using Seedra as the base, if I use Butterfree as the base, would that, like, make it look different, right? Because we saw, like, a, um, two different versions of Geodude and Sandshrew, so I'm assuming that's the case. Uh, yeah, so let's unfuse this. Wait. Yes. Wait, what? Oh, no! Oh, I see what this is. This is the opposite. Okay, like that, yeah. Okay. Oh, that looks so much better, I think. Eh, uh, does it? I don't know. I kind of like it. C3. Ah, oh, I see now. I see what that is. Ah, okay. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I want to... I probably want to use the inverse thing again on... Charmander. Oh, it's just a, unfortunate I've got to probably buy some more, but... Unfuse him. Okay. So now we can talk to you, get this side quest done. But at least I answered my questions, you know? It's all good. And I get a... Oh, I've got a Pineco. Sweet. Got a free Pokemon for that. Then talk to you. Do we get anything for having another quest done? Uh, help two more people and I'll give you something good. Okay. Fair enough. Right. So that's that done. Uh, I need to... Oh, it's a little 10. It's not bad, actually. I want to do some grinding. I also want to sell something to get some money. Uh, just like no money at all. Maybe a little helps here. Oh, that'll do. So then I'm going to buy Reverser. Just because the the Flamander, it just looks so bad. I want to see what the inverse will look like. Maybe it'll look better. Maybe it won't. We'll see. All right, here we go. Please look good. Because <laughs> it looks so wrong. <laughs> it's more flappy-like. Oh, that's so much better. That is so much better. I like that. So much more. Oh, that's, that's so good. That is actually so good. Okay. Right, I need to do... Some serious gr- I want to use the- Actually, no, I, I quite like that. I'm going to keep that like that. I'm not- Uh, yeah. So I'm going to fuse Seedra with Butterfree. And Pineco. Not really wanting to use it, if I'm being completely honest. But I think it's probably a great place to end the episode off. Uh, next episode, we'll head towards uh, Mount Moon. And probably go through Mount Moon as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.